Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator, where last episode in the live stream, we completed the tower, which meant we completed the airport DLC. So, we are now down to, in the campaign department, if we skip over to campaigns, uh, nope, I just uh, did the wrong button, and go over to the final, is all we have left. Uh, the first job we got is access road. So there's one, two, three, four, five, right? Yes, five jobs in total, uh, as most of them seem to have. So the first one is the access road at the gates. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Uh, pays less than a million credits, so it doesn't seem to be like an extremely long job. But uh, I always hate trying to say how long a job's going to be because... I am never close to what it's going to be. Uh, where are we doing this? Right in the center of the map, it appears. And can I not... Ooh, I can't teleport to there? You see, you can teleport right to where the job's going to be. Where's it going to be here? Okay, GPS has me going that way for some reason. I was like, I should be able to teleport right to the job. All right. That's what you get to for, for, for trying to follow GPS. Never trust GPS too much. Uh, who is going to be in charge of this? Now i got to run, well, I guess down to the beginning of the access road. Well, on the way down, I will look for the hammer. Should be a hammer around here somewhere, but then didn't really see one around the airport. Yeah, I'll have to get some machinery here so I can start teleporting to where I need to be. Okay, so maybe GPS was telling me to go to the right spot. Yep, yep, I'm just running across the road. Okay, this is not even close to <laughs> where the job site's gonna be. Am I meeting, uh, maybe I gotta, I gotta meet the, uh, is it Doctor Strange I call them? Uh, maybe I'm meeting him at the museum. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Oh, this is where we built the concert area over by the church. Am I talking to someone actually at the church? I think so. All right, so who are we talking to? Oh, back to this guy. Back to the first guy that we did jobs ah, for. The city's most sought after construction professional enters the scene. Of course, I already know that you, Hopper, and those other fools are trying to rescue the castle, but it's completely pointless. Just think about it. An old, abandoned castle ruin. Dusty, dirty, dilapidated. Who or what do you want to invite there, aside from a powerful wrecking ball? But go ahead. Try your luck. You'll never manage to save this castle from demolition. Once I've bought this ugly site from the city and leveled it all, Construction will start on a large golf course for exclusive members. We'll meet again, and then I'm certain you'll agree that there is no point in trying to save the castle. See you soon. Don't you just want to give him an elbow right to the forehead? Um, all right, now I got to speak with Hap, who is going to be... I, I, I hope up here. All right, well, fast travel back up to here. Then I'll have to run down the hill to talk to... to well, he called him Hapa. Uh, I just always call him Hap. Well, at least he's only 100 meters down the road. So, I mean, I, I, I'm not quite understanding where this job is kind of going. Yes, I'll do the access road and everything, but... You think he's going to build a golf course here? Nice to see you. I know things are heating up right now. When the investor turned out to be a potential buyer, the mayor approached me immediately, because we both know that he wouldn't put this castle to any good use. There is only one way to throw a wrench into the investor's plans. We have to prove that the old castle ruin is more than just stone and mortar, but an important part of the culture of our city. 
The plan is to show them how important the castle was and is for our common history. That's why we want to organize our own castle festivals. But that's not all. Nearly the entire castle premises needs to be refurbished from the ground up. We plan to prepare it for many visitors. This project is quite a challenge. But we're all behind you to make this plan a reality. So it all lays in my two hands. Uh, oh, okay, now I gotta run back up the hill. Well, my character definitely is getting their exercise in this morning. I don't know why you can just tell me down there <laughs> what's going on. This is probably where the knights rode up, according to the professor. Aren't you glad that our well-fed bellies no longer depend on the good graces of a castle lord? The castle is pretty stunning, but it's hard to get to. It's up to you and your team to first establish a proper access road for visitors with enough parking spaces and an effective transport link. Well, I think you mean build a road, is what you're saying. Uh, apply asphalt and compact asphalt. Well, there's only one way to do that, and that's going on down here. So apply asphalt. Let's see if I can find... It's in this list somewhere. There it is. Uh, 88%. I wonder where... My maintenance truck is because I can just pull things out here and fix them on up. Dump truck. Oh, I think it's actually behind me. Which makes sense. Yeah, I think it was the order that I recalled things back to headquarters. We'll bring it on over. To this. And we'll switch this over. And hopefully we're in the trigger. Alright, perfect. Now we can zip on up to here. And hopefully the job starts up at the castle. Got to figure out where they put me here. Well, it looks like they actually got an area for building material stuff. So am I doing more than just doing the access road today? So sometimes when you pave the roads, they don't actually show you exactly where you're starting but let's go ahead and extend the this action can't be continued it requires spaces occupied no free space what all right that is interesting all right let's back up the hill All right, and asphalt on. All right, we are laying the tar. Then, of course, we'll have to come in here and compact it. Don't think this job's going to take me too long. Whoop. Someone ran out of asphalt and wasn't paying attention. Wonder who that was. I can't even blame it on chat today. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that back on. But this like uh, I don't I can't really tell if I'm paving on top of stone or cobblestone. Sounds like there's a plane going to the airport.
Well, I'm hoping to get it 50% done by the time we get down to the bottom. That way I can do one pass down, one pass up. Not doing a good job paying attention to the asphalt. I think it's because I'm trying to pay attention to the edge of the road more than my fill levels. Get me to 50%, which I think it's going to. I'm almost out of asphalt. Let's go ahead and, and fill her up. Perfect. 55%. So, just by going back up, I should be able to complete at least this part. So I did have a look at uh, the Dynapack, I think it's called, which just came out a couple days ago. And it's supposed to be part of the Year 2 Pass, which I have, because Steam shows the Year 2 Pass in my library. But it does not show the Dynapack in my library, so that's kind of interesting. Nope, it was on. You were good. Let's continue up the hill. Although I don't think I'd be buying any more new equipment anyways. I think we got everything that we need. Other than maybe double up on a couple of the things if we needed to. Kind of like the mobile crane that we have. Or we got two of them that we have. All right, 90%. Yeah, we should easily get up to 100%. No problem by the time I get to the end of the road. All right, we're going to go ahead and fold that up. And we'll park it over here on the hill. Or maybe not on the hill. <laughs> not the best place to be parking, I guess. Alright, there we go. That's a good spot for it. Alright, now we need... Asphalt compactor. That's what we need. So let's go ahead and repair and ref uh, fuel this as well. We repaired and refueled some things down at the airport, but not everything. Just because it wasn't really near where we were with the maintenance truck. Alright, let's get up to the job site. And let's get the road compacted, and then maybe we're going to be paving a parking lot up here, possibly. I mean, we got a road, but no place to park the vehicles, and I think that's what this is going to be. And then compacting on. So I'm guessing... I'm hoping it's at least 25% on the way down. Maybe up to 33%. 
And if you're good with fractions, that means I would either have to do three or four passes, depending on the on the total, right? Well, this is already a good start for the entire campaign because if you look at it, people are going to go by and like, oh, look, a, a new road going up to the castle. Although I would think that this would be the last thing you should be doing. With all the equipment that in reality would be going up and down to the castle while getting all the jobs done I don't think you would want fresh asphalt being put down and have old construction vehicles going over it who told you to disable it's only 22% on the way down so it's going to be four passes and a little bit of extra that I'm going to have to do But we got plenty of room. I really don't have to get this close to the edge. But we got plenty of room to do at least five or six passes for sure. as I get up to 40%, right? Looks like I might actually be missing some spots with a roller again on the other side. Looks like there's some patches over there. Kind of weird that Actually, those uh, those tracks might be from the paver. It's like kind of weird that in the dirt they're showing me tracks when we're in a roller. Might not actually be spots that I missed in the asphalt. Looks like they are are actually compacted. It's just a color difference in that general spot for some reason. So yeah, we actually had a pretty good amount of people that showed up for the live stream, which was nice. So probably this upcoming week I may do one although Thursday would be the best day usually for me but I think this upcoming Thursday I got an appointment I need to get to so that might be kind of rough but as I have said in the live streams and in some videos if you want to know where my live streams when they are going to be and what they're going to be on uh, best place to find out about that would be on the Discord channel. And the category titled, Are You Ready For This? Upcoming Live Streams. Seems simple enough. And for some reason on this part of the hill, we can see it now on the left hand side. And you can really see it also on the right hand side. There's some color difference in the asphalt that we're compacting for some reason. What's going to kind of suck is I got to make another trip on the way down. But if I'm going to be doing a parking lot up here, I'm going to need the roller back up here to compact the asphalt for the parking area. Oh well, not much I can do about it. Job needs to be done. 
And really, I thought I had a lot of room in this road to do maybe, you know, six passes, but looks like five passes. It's going to about cover everything. I mean, there's got to be plenty of places on this map to put a golf course. But I did say the first time we did jobs for that guy, he's, uh, I, I forgot what I called him. I'm getting mixed up with Doctor Strange and, I don't know, maybe I should call this guy, uh, or did I call this guy Mr. Hyde, Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde? I, I forgot what I said. <laughs> it's been a while now. Alright, let's disable that. Alright, let's get this back up the hill. And we'll park it next to the paver. And now I'm at this angle. I can definitely see why the paver had our time going up and across there. It's rather steep right there. Alright, so... Oh, no, we need to go to the building materials store. And we need to buy some stuff. Not a whole lot of stuff, but we're buying some stuff. I don't think there's going to be a spot for a stationary crane, but I'll have to have a quick look. No, so it's going to be the mobile crane that we need next. So, we'll get the one over here at headquarters. And I did repair this, so this should be good to go. And probably just leave it right where it is. Almost. Is the... It's right in front of me, right? The, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, hopefully these will go out and won't have a problem. Alright, so no problem there. All right, so we need a concrete bag. So this is going to be... Oh, wait, there's a spot for a sta uh, my stationary crane. Am I going to really need it for a parking lot? Oh, for now, we'll use this. I mean, I don't need to save the money for putting up the crane and such, but... See where it goes. The only I did not expect the stationary crane to be going over there. Alright, pallet of bricks. I mean, we don't have that much st stuff here right now to currently move. I mean, would it be quicker with the stationary crane? A little bit. When you change directions with the mobile crane, at first it goes a little bit slow. And then it speeds up as you go along. Just like the way I start my day. I start off a little slow, but as the day starts going, I start going a little bit faster as well.
Okay, there's two with the bricks, two more to go. And then probably you're gonna have to call it a day because it's getting on the late side of things. May even get dark here before I can get these delivered. Uh, what am I? I'm hitting something, so I can't move the beam over or the boom over. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to look into uh, the Dynapack DLC that just came out. Like I said, it should be part of the Year Two Pass, at least that's the, what the Year Two Pass says. Uh, but it's not showing in my library. I did uh, restart Steam just in case, and that did not solve it. I would like to just look at the material and what equipment it brings to the game, because maybe there's something new in there. Perfect. Uh, lay the brick. Well, as I said, let's go ahead and take a coffee break, go to morning, and we'll get that taken care of right away. So, coffee break to the morning. So, we got a little bit of brick laying here. Clear the mark area. Oh, it's actually making a wall. Okay. Not the way I thought it was going to be. Let's go and get this side here. And last but not least, the wall. And boom, we got ourselves some of this. All right, I think if I'm going to be doing that, you know me, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this crane in. I probably will need to move the other crane. I think I might be able to get these in without moving it. I'm up here. Let's see what I can get done. Oh, they're laying that way, but somehow, magically, that one went to the farthest part of the building. So if I can get that one, I should be able to get the rest. And then for concreting the ceiling, because that's probably what's next. I suppose we'll use the bucket for the crane. But at that point, I think that boom on the mobile crane will have to be retracted. I really still don't get the whole point of the beginning of this campaign with the original guy saying, well, we'll see what happens. I'm going to build a golf course up here. Why would the city go through all the trouble spending all the money to put this up here? I mean, we know we're not going to get a golf course up here. Uh, but that investor is... <laughs> the storyline just doesn't quite do it for me, I guess.
Right, no surprise there that we need to go ahead and concrete the ceiling. So let's bring this crane over here for a little bit. And we'll reset that. That's all we really needed to do. Company, warehouse, uh, warehouse. And then... That should be here at the job site. Yep, there it is. Perfect. I definitely would not want to be doing this with the mobile crane. Alright, let's lower this down here. Uh, we'll rotate it, I guess, like that. Not gonna worry about getting up against the back wall right now, so we'll just bring it along here. way and get our first headland done like farming a field Steady as she goes, let that concrete fill up. Don't know if this is going to be like a welcome center or a garage. It does have like a couple big openings in the front, like for people to park cars in, but... Maybe once we get the job done, we'll know a little bit more. Okay, filling it in pretty good. May have to get a little bit on that back wall because uh, I think we're going to be just shy. Alright, spin around to get the last 3%. Clear the bucket out of there. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and put the bucket back over here. Package roof element wooden frames. So probably going to need the truck to go get those. I don't think they're going to be here. Just having a quick look and I don't see them anywhere. Alright. Into the truck we go. That should be repaired. 99%. So, yep, good enough. And prefab walls. 
Oh, going up to the sawmill. All right. And every time I come here, I forget which store I got to go to. Now, let's go to where these cars are. Is there a door here? No. Every time, I know. I think by now I know which store to go to. I just don't come here that often to know exactly which one it is. Ah, oh, it's where these cars are parked. I think. Yes. So, can we get all three of these on the semi trailer? Should be able to. Let's get a little bit closer though, so our crane doesn't have to get stretched as far. Not there. That'll do. Might be able to get them all on on the same row, if you will. Looks like I got enough room to do so. And we do. All right, reset that, reset that. And here we go, back to the castle. Wonder where they're gonna teleport me because the, oh, down here. Because the uh, stage, uh, sorry, mobile crane is kind of where I was teleporting to before. Well, the new road that we paved doesn't quite look as new as it did a few minutes ago. All right, let's get these off the truck and onto the roof. in there there we go and voila Unpack construction material. Um, oh, down here. I'm looking for the trigger up there because that's when the material is, but the trigger is down here. Clear the marked area. All right, now we got to flatten the area, which I'm guessing that we are in. Uh, kind of. 
Uh, but not really, so we'll leave the truck there for now. And of course now we need our lovely dozer. Oh, maybe I should have moved the stationary crane because if this puts me down the hill... I mean, it's not that far up the hill. Yeah, we'll have to move that stationary uh, mobile crane. And this is what I was talking about when I was paving the road. Because uh, paving the road first and then bring your construction equipment up. Now normally they probably bring out in a low loader up to the job site itself. But here I am driving up on tracks on the road. On, doesn't look like fresh asphalt, but you saw me put it in just like 10 minutes ago. some laps. I think all I really need to do is we can see the mound of dirt. Seems to be a lot of it on this side here. And already I've done half of it, apparently. Doesn't look like I have, so... Okay, 100%. Alright, we'll put this over here. Uh, we need to move the truck and the semi-trailer. And that, we will just... Um... Well, you know what? We got a lot of area over here. Deliver and spread gravel. Oh, sorry, sand. I'm so used to always saying gravel. I am going to move the mobile crane just because that seems to be the spawn point where I was getting up here, but now with this in the way. There we go, that should be good enough. Alright, so now we need the dump truck, which is right here, in perfect condition. Let's see where we spawn where the mobile crane was, and we do. Hopefully this isn't as bad as it was when I was doing the tower and the live stream. Alright, and you want sand. Alright, just making sure... Whoop. Making sure I fill up with the right material. Doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to get up to 100% on this. Oh, 97%? Really? Alright. Let me lower down 
the dump body a little bit because I don't want it all pouring out the back. Let's not give them more than what they're asking for. Right, clear the mark area. Deliver and spread gravel. Um, okay, well, we'll empty this out. <laughs> okay. Looks like they want me to... It's all around this area, or... Yeah, it's not in where we dumped the sand. So this could be... Gravel, gravel, yeah. This could be a big, whoop, this could be a bigger job. Alright, so it's not going to be as bad. I thought I was going to have to spread it over a bigger area, but if I get 30% just about for each load here, that's not going to be too much. Eighty-three percent, and we'll dump the rest. I think over here should do it. All right, let's not go too far. Compact the gravel. Okay, let's go and just park this. Over here should be good. And let's go ahead and get into soil compactor. And that looks like it's in pretty good shape. Crush some cones here. So I'm probably going to have to cover a little bit more of an area with this. Maybe this building over here will be the maintenance building actually for the castle. Covering actually some pretty good percentage on the ground. 20% already. So it does not look like I'm going to have to do a whole, the entire thing. Uh, maybe just this little rectangle that I'm working on. Uh, running faster than I thought it was before. Seems like it's going at a pretty good pace.
but maybe it's because I got more open space to go around other than doing smaller foundations. Almost halfway there with compacting the gravel. Let's move to the other side and hopefully get the last 40%. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult to do so. See what the next job is. If it's something not too complicated, maybe we'll try to get it done before it gets dark and before the end of the episode, but it seems like it's going to be a longer task. Might have to save it for next time. Give me the last 15% on the two passes? Probably not. Doesn't help if you don't back up straight. Right, let's come over to here and we'll get the last bit of it done. another 5% all right clear the mark area Apply asphalt and compact asphalt. Well, I think that is something because it might be a little bit time to get that done. But yeah, we can uh, we can definitely get that done. I think pretty easily at the beginning of next episode. I mean, easily with like in 15 minutes, we'll finish up the access road here, and then we can move on. Yeah, I think this might be a maintenance bu building or a welcome center. Maybe that's what it's going to be. Don't know. Do not know. But we will know sometime in the beginning of the next episode. But anyways, if you made this far in the video and like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel and the video more than you know. Also, while you're down there, you might want to hit that subscribe and notification bell as well so you don't miss out on more content like this. But that is going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here at Construction Simulator. But until then... Have a good one.